Thrones. My in-game name is Abu of K128, formerly a member of KDG but decided to transfer to a new alliance called the WOI of K45. You're probably wondering why I'm still playing in K128 and not to uh, K45. Uh, well, you know that's uh, it's a good topic to talk about, but uh, that'll be top secret for for now because uh, for this video we are going to check out what's going on uh, in K128 and to learn more about the latest updates in this channel. Okay, so before we continue. We, with our story, uh, just so everybody knows, this is my pilot episode, the first, so it's a guarantee that every one of you must be new to this channel, so uh, please do subscribe and click on the notification bell as well to keep you updated with our latest content here on my stories inside Game of Thrones. So now, we begin by checking out our calendar of activity for today. So let me pull out my Game of Thrones my, uh, calendar of activity right now. So today is July, Wednesday, July 7th, uh, I mean July 22nd of 2020. Uh, we have here on the first line is Alliance. This is Alliance Mobilization. So it's just a quest uh, together with other Alliance's members to earn the ultimate reward. So the one here is Alliance Mobilization um, and I bet some of you likes to participate in this activity while some are not so interested or just uh, or just busy with work or others or, or other activities. But for me I like, uh, I like this one because uh, as you can see I always fully participate on this one. This is a good way of helping your alliances. Or your alliance to rank up and get higher rewards as a group and of course you'll get your individual rewards just by uh, participating you would be able to see the status of rewards uh, for this by clicking this major event icon right here but in my case I wouldn't be able to because I'm done claiming my rewards already so uh, okay next all right, so next is on our calendar activities is the elite trials right here. So it's just basically uh, you deploy your commanders and fight alongside other members in challenge and trials. So uh, the elite trials is up until Sunday. By the way, Alliance Mobilization is until Thursday, so tomorrow. And going back to elite trials, it's gonna run until Sunday so you still have uh, one two three four four days to uh, to play on this one actually it's just started today so uh, we have four days of playing this right now okay so next one is the uh, eternal glory so this one is just uh, you play this and you uh, complete activities for this and you will be able to get rewards uh, by completing the test like uh, for this instance uh, one is attack rebel groups so the first line would be uh, would be attacking uh, several times like four times uh, if I'm not mistaken so that's uh, right now as you can see uh, I'm very active on this one eternal glory uh, almost all of my tasks has been completed okay, so I already complete uh, claim my rewards for this one so uh, another way of getting rewards is to uh, participate in matches in the training grounds during the events so right here so training grounds and also you have to clear stages in Weirwood that's another way of getting rewards so, and another one is uh, dragon tour so just have to uh, Electric Dragon uh, complete its task by exploring. So something like that. So you have to let your dragon explore uh, several times so for you be for you to be able to get uh, those rewards. Right now we go on with checking out what's going on in let's check out our map 
for K128. Okay, so as you can see right here, um, if you look on the King's Landing, it is owned by YouTube. Uh, it's belonging for uh, from uh, KDG, which is uh, by uh, previous alliance. Uh, most of you all uh, would be uh, would be wondering why I left this group. This is a very strong uh, alliance. Actually, this is the strongest alliance in this kingdom. They dominate uh, almost every uh, castles here or territories right here. So I just I would probably say uh, why I left because uh, the first it's probably the the lack of communication because among among uh, members and players in this alliance because most of the members here are Korean so I'm not a Korean so it's probably the language barrier that is you know uh, that has been a problem uh, that's why we seldom talk with each other and uh, another thing would probably be because uh, the KDG is uh, the, the strongest uh, alliance here I think I probably like uh, more challenge, uh, so I, I decided to, to, to join uh, less powerful uh, alliances, so uh, you know, so I could have more uh, spice to my game. All right, so let's just now uh, move on uh, with checking out with our map right now here in in K128. Okay, so on the northern part. On the north part of uh, King's Landing, you would be able to see the Arend Hall. As you can see right here, no one owns this one. And on the northwest of Arend Hall uh, is River Run. As you can see, it's also owned by uh, KDG Alliance. And on the uh, northeast of, or the east of uh, River Run is Irie, or Erie. Uh, still uh, protected by KDG Alliance and Gull Town. And if you scroll up a little bit on the north up here, you would be able to see the Twins. Uh, no one owns this one, this territory. The Grey Watch, no one owns Grey Watch as well. And Mount Kailin, uh, also uh, em an empty territory. And on the north, uh, most northern part of this is Dreadfort. No one owns this one. Winterfell. Uh, and finally, uh, we get one other or another uh, alliance, uh, which is the XAU. So I, I'm able to read uh, his name because it's written. I think it's written Russian. Uh, this we know his. He belongs to uh, XAU. And if you uh, if we scroll up a little bit on northern part of Winterfell is Castle Black. Uh, nobody owns this uh, territory as well. So let's go back on the south part of the map right here on the western side is Pike. No one uh, no one owns this one also. And Castle Rack belongs to uh, X13. I am able to read his name also because it's written on I think it's Russian or uh, or you can write down your comments right here down below so I would be able to know what a type of writing is, is this one so if anybody who knows out there just uh, I'd like to hear from you okay as you can see here uh, I'm located here this is my city right here right now I'm not doing anything I probably have my troops gather some resource oh I don't have any construction yet so I'll, I'll probably uh, do that later after this video but anyway going back to our map uh, checking out on the southern part of High Garden uh, I mean of uh, Castle Rock is High Garden also owned by X13 and Old Town belongs to no one and on the southern far part of King's Landing is Storm's End as you can see it's also owned by YouTube 
belonging to uh, KDG. Uh, and the s most southern part of the map is Sun's Pier. The territory Sun's Pier, uh, also owned by Uter, belongs to KDG. Uh, the uh, KDG is the most dominant, is the dominant uh, alliance in this, uh, in, the, in K128. Uh, no one, no, no, no one really wants to uh, go against the, uh, this alliance because they are very strong. They're too strong to uh, to be an opponent. So uh, uh, let's check if uh, we would be able to s to uh, see some other groups or alliances here in K128. Not not really much uh, alliances left here in this kingdom already because uh, uh, it has been. Uh, because KGG is really strong to be an opponent so and yeah you wouldn't be able to see really much uh, in, in this uh, in this kingdom because uh, it has been dominated by uh, KGG alright so guys that'll be our story for today and if you want to suggest or comment something like ideas on what topic should I put next on my video I would like to hear from you and let me know just comment down below and don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time bye